What is up guys, it's Mr. Lee Redman here, and welcome to episode number 6 of the Dynamo Dresden file. Um, in this one I went a little bit further than I was intending to. Um, I was going to go to the end of pre-season and uh, do it there and then, but I played a couple of games. And I was going to do it just now actually, because I did have a um, two week break, but I didn't actually realise until just before the next game. So I played the next game. We've got a week's break now. Everyone's played this weekend as well. So we'll have a look at the scores and all that in a minute. We are, we've are we we've had a really good start, to be fair. Um, but first things first is we're going to get transfers because we have made two. Um, those are all the players I let go. Um, this one was the only one. Alban Saban was the only one I really was in, going to try and keep. Because of his four or three and a half star potential, but he um, he wasn't happy to club because he just wasn't being played, which is fair enough. And this season, actually, I had some transfer budget, which was actually quite nice. Um, I say quite nice; it was only four hundred thousand, so it wasn't exactly the greatest anyway. But as last season, I had uh, zero, so it, it was it was pretty decent. As you can see, I signed two players. I had a look at the squad and um, the squad depth anyway. And the only two places I really needed, actually, were centre-back and left-back. Um, everything else was three and a half star, including my strike strikers, which is something I wanted to try and bump up last year. As you can see, I've managed to bring in two players. First one is centre-back, Steven Sama. Um, he doesn't really improve the squad in the moment. Um, he's three star, and so was my second best centre-back. But he has decent um, potential, as you can see there is four, um, four star potential, and he's uh, he's only just signed, and he's 22 as well, which is pretty decent. So that is good from my point of view. That's something I like to see. And um, my left back, this guy, no centre back again. Sorry, Benjamin. Hang on. Whoops, Benjamin Delacour. A uh, 29 year old French defender who I got from RMP, it was um, Moscron Preves team from Belgium. Um, he's decent again, he's for three and a half, sorry, kind of billion, three and a half potential billion as well. So that was something I need to do. So, as far as I'm concerned, it's really just left back I kind of need to sort out because I've got Texaria right back um, and Kirsten's. Keeper Hefele and Delacour in the middle. Uh, no, Hefele has been subject to some bids in the transfer window. And then you got Justin Eilers attacking right, Derholtz, uh, sorry, Stefaniak left, and Derholtz uh, attacking center, and Tobias Muller, who is my out and out striker. So I might have a look. So I'll have a look at a left back. Um, I have to admit, I thought one of the ones I signed was a left back, but uh, I've obviously misread that. Um, so yeah, so we're going to games now, as you can see, done pretty well. Starting in the front, it was just 1 1 at uh, Union St. Florian, wherever they are, I never heard of them. Uh, Dominic Bauman, which is four minutes to go. B. Dorman, second side, 4 0. Muller doubles to Fadiak and to Kirch, to Kirch, I think. Uh, we won 2 0 at to Kirchen, to Fadiak double. We all smashed the home 5 0 by Southampton. 3-0 um, down in 14 minutes doesn't really help. Jay Rodriguez double with Van, 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 Van Yama double. Danny Ings. So interesting. We then started the first game of the season. Drew 1-1 here with Deutschburg. On a goal, put them one up in the sixth man. And Eilers equalised with 10 minutes to go. We then went 3-1 in newly promoted Hanover's second side. This Van Eck actually put us a goal in front just before half time. Clark came equalising for them. But 10 minutes later, the Hots made it 2 and then Justin Ellers made it 3 just after the iron mark. We then beat Vahen 4 1 at home to Byers Muller double, Hefele and Stefaniak, 2 goals in 5 minutes at the end of the game, wrapping up after they did pull about to 2 1. And the last game was a 2 1 win at Chemnitz, Stefaniak and Tobias Muller, though Tobias Muller did receive a knock in this game and had to come off. So hopefully that isn't too bad. So yeah, consider him. Last season, in the first 21 games, I only won three games. To win three games in the first four, it's obviously a good start. And you can see I am top 
with uh, 10 points, 1 point clear on Munster and 2 clear of Fortuna Cone. Uh, my next game is away at Yang Regensburg here at 10th. So, um, yeah, it's a very good start, so hopefully we can uh, carry that on. Um, we'll just have a quick look at some of the player stats. There's obviously not going to be that many, to be fair. And um, we have Stefania on the average rating of 7.9. Um, but that's, uh, that's about it. I mean, I'm not quite sure who our leading goal scorers. I think it's going to be Stefaniak or Tobias Muller. I think it's going to be Tobias Muller. Oh, no, both Stefaniak and Muller on three. And thankfully, Muller has only... Um, Taking a knock in that game, so that's good. As we see, he's 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 younger and he's 23, so that's good. I like that. So I've got quite a few. I mean, Tobias Muller, Stefania, Dolholtz, Muller, Andrich, all under 23. So that is that's, that looks good for the future. Um, no nope, wrong one. Not really much happening in the lower reaches. Obviously, we've got. Hesse and Schuber, who are still looking potentially pretty decent for their ages and uh, potential ability as well. So hopefully we can uh, whoops, keep that going. Um, something I've actually just realised. I've not got a game in the... Oh, right, okay, I'm not even in the German Cup. I think you've got to finish in a certain positions, I think it is to actually make it into the German Cup. I think it's like the top 10 or something. Or something like that. I can't actually remember. Um, so we'll just have a quick look here. It's probably even less than that, to be quite honest. Yeah, it's way less than that. You have Sandhausen, who actually got really good. Grosopash, who failed to go up. Oops. And you got Byfield, Heidenheim, Stuttgart. Yeah, so it looks like it's basically top six or something to get to places. So, um, but, thank f uh, but yeah, um, hopefully we can... Um, Munchen Lions, who are they? Just, um, 1860 Munich. Beautiful. They, the Frankfurt Ironbush. I think that's... S S um, S S F S V Frankfurt, I think it is. But, yeah, slightly um, different. Unusual. Not quite sure why it's like that, but oh well, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Dortmund, see, see, um, any major signings for these teams here? So, somebody from Cologne <coughs> and, um, decent player from Munch and Gladbach by the looks of that. And you do have somebody going the other way. Uh, Bayern, I think they signed one player last I checked. Oh, two. Barbosa from Santos and Kimmich of Red Bull Leipzig. Um, oh, Shakiri went to Inter for 11.25. That's not bad. Um, but yeah, so, so we've had a good start, guys. Long may it continue, and then um, we'll have to see how we can do. Hopefully, we will uh, carry on. Um, it's not actually going to be that long before I come back, to be fair. I'm going to be playing six more games, so the next one is going to be here. A home to Grosopash after that. Um, so hopefully we can uh, still be in a decent position by then. But that's it for this episode, guys. Leave some likes, leave some comments, subscribe. We'd really appreciate it all. And tune in next time for a review after 10 games, where hopefully we will be just in a good position as we are now. I mean, we've only four games in, so it's not really much you can read on. But um, hopefully we can stay where we are. And, and until then, guys, as always, take us slowly.